Good morning, students. I hope you guys are doing fine in your various homes. Uh, in our last class, we discussed carbohydrates as one of the polymers formed from condensation polymerization. Today, we want to move into another topic titled production of energy. Right from when our eyes were still very close to the knees, we were taught that energy is the ability to do work. But the energy that is stored in our body, which is stored in the form of chemical energy, is not enough to carry out all the activities we have in existence. And that is why there is need for the production of energy. By the end of this lesson, each and every one of us must be able to explain the need for energy. That is, explain the need for the production of energy, the second thing, you must be able to classify energy based on its source. And then lastly, we must be able to discuss briefly what we understand by the term fossil fuel. All right, to start with, why do we need energy? Why do we need energy in existence? Energy is needed in the modern societies for these following reasons. One, it is used in eating in our various homes and industries, in our cooking, lightning, uh, and so on and so forth. Then secondly, it is used in transportation. Energy is one of those things you use in powering your vehicles and some other things. Thirdly, production of goods for shelters, food production. If you want to cook in your various homes, you need energy. Then lastly, it is used in health care and so many other areas of life. All right, uh, how do we now classify energy based on its source? We have different ways of classifying energy, but today we are classifying energy based on its source. Energy can be classified based on the source into renewable energy and non-renewable energy. What are renewable energies? Renewable energy is a type of energy that, can, that replenishes itself whenever it is being exhausted. That is, which is inexhaustible and constantly replenished. Examples of this renewable energy are the energy gotten from the sun, that is called our solar energy. Uh, we have the one gotten from water, that one is referred to as hydroelectric power, that is your HEP. We have the one gotten from the wind, that is wind energy. And uh, we have geothermal energy, that is the each energy that is generated in the subsurface of the head and you can use this energy to carry out various activities. We have wave power and tidal barriers. This is the energy that is generated from uh, the rise and fall of sea level which is caused as a result of a combined effect of the gravitational uh, force exerted by the sun and the uh, moon. Alright, let's move to the next uh, class of energy. That is our non-renewable energy. This is the type of energy which can be exhausted. That is, whenever you exhaust this, you cannot replenish it again. Uh, what are examples of this? Petroleum is a typical example of this. Uh, that is your crude oil, your natural gas, coal, nuclear energy. That is energy released from uh, a nuclear reaction, like your radioactivity and so on and so forth. Okay, we are going to discuss briefly what we understand by fossil fuel. Don't forget we mentioned uh, petroleum, natural gas, coal as one of the examples of renewable energy. All these type of energy are referred to as fossil fuel. Now, let's quickly look at the meaning of fossil fuel. Fossil fuels are fuels formed from the remains of plants and animals when they are subjected to a very high temperature and prayer uh, and also in the presence of some certain bacteria effect and left for millions of years. Now, these energy are important source of energy which is used in powering uh, most of our engines and can also be used as raw materials in the production of certain materials or products like your drugs, your detergents, plastic and so on and so forth, alright? Uh, then, currently, 
Research has shown us that 80% of the commercial energy we use presently is gotten from the fossil fuel. Okay. Now, what are examples of this fossil fuel? What are examples of this fossil fuel? We have mentioned this earlier on anyway. Now, this is petroleum or crude oil. Don't forget, we have done things about petroleum. And uh, where, when we, we discuss the origin of petroleum, in, uh, before we even went home. Then we have the natural gas. This is a mixture of methane and small amount of gaseous hydrocarbon. Then we have the coal. That one is gotten from forests. That is, the fossil plant material when they are buried in the earth for a long period of time. Okay? Now, what are the types of coal? We have different types of coal depending on the percentage composition of carbon in them. The first one is the peak like coal, which contains about 60% carbon. The second one is our lignite coal that contains about 70% carbon. Then we also have the bituminous coal, which contains about 85% carbon. And lastly, we have the anthracite coal, which contains about 94% carbon. When we look at this coal, we have actually discussed things about coal when we were talking about uh, allotropes of carbon. So, we are going to reference to allotropes of carbon in our notes so that we have a deep understanding of this. So, when we get to the Google Classroom, we are still going to discuss more about uh, the production of energy. And as you watch this, and I await you at the Google Classroom, I pray that God bless you. Thank you.